Um, I just finished a day of uploading YouTube videos from my car in front of the library because our internet speed here isn't quick enough to upload. <laughs> and it was several hours of technical difficulties. So after finishing, I decided I would like to enjoy one of my favorite ways to relax, which is to have a cup of tea. And I thought it might be a nice time to share how to make having tea a mindful moment. Tea for me is what I practice so I can come back to myself, which is the practice of meditation. So as uh, Tai teaches, meditation can have two aspects, stopping and calming, and deep looking. And enjoying tea with mindfulness and concentration can be a practice in both. So when we come back to our body and we're aware of every movement that we make, we reach for a teacup with the same presence that we would reach for the bell inviter to invite a sound of the bell and begin meditation. And we bring it to our mouth and we're aware of all the sensations of the warm tea coming down into our center, the flavor dancing on our tongue and the fragrance circling in our sinuses. These moments become timeless. They open up the present moment and we can enter that deeply. When our mind and our body are unified, we can look deeply into what is going on. We can see that enjoying tea is a celebration of the four elements of earth in the tea leaf, in the minerals and atoms that create its flavor and fragrance, the water that brings it to life, allows it to express itself, the air that carries the aroma and allows the tea to leave its vessel, and fire it heats up the water and um, releases the essence of the leaf. When we drink the tea, we can look deeply to see that these are the elements that we are made of also. That there is no separation between us and the tea and then the world around us, not limited by these bodies that get old and get sick and die. When that happens, we see that we're just returning to the source to be recycled and maybe reborn as a cup of tea that someone else might enjoy. So we can give ourselves a moment each day. You might find that these days you have time to enjoy just sitting and drinking tea. And so when you do that, I invite you to really make it a ritual, make it a ceremony, make that 20 minutes a gift to yourself to do nothing but just drink the tea and be deeply present with it. So I've been practicing this for a while and I've collected uh, some utensils that make the experience very special to me. You might not have a ceremonial set yourself, maybe you just have a favorite mug. Uh, but you should choose a piece of ceramic that uh, invites you to stop and really be present with it and observe all of its shape and color and character. So today I have this little pot I got this during a, a milestone in my life. Um, I was graduating college and I ordained in the OI and I was uh, moving to California to stay in the monastery for a little while. And I love it because it comes with this uh, pitcher. You can see all these cracks in it that only become expressed through use. And you can see I've dropped it and broken the handle, which makes it even more fun to use. And I love this because every time I use it, 
it's different. It changes with time, with age, and with love. And I also have these little cups that I made, so that feels special. And uh, for the rinse water, I've chosen this tea bowl that I also made. So you don't have to make your own things, just choose something that's special for you, that really uh, reminds you to stop and be present with the tea. So the first step in making tea is boiling the water. And while you boil the water, you have a chance to sit and enjoy your breathing. So many times when we're heating up food, boiling water for tea, waiting in line at the grocery store, we get busy. We want to distract ourselves with something. But for the couple minutes that the water is boiling, let's just sit and enjoy being here. So I invite you to find a comfortable posture where you are awake and relaxed. Bring your mind into your breathing coming in and going out. So tea is a practice, uh, and from practicing for a while, you notice that different kinds of tea have different characteristics and different qualities. So I've practiced with this one a few times. I know now from experience that on its first wash, it likes to steep for 10 breaths. So this is just another chance to enjoy a stable posture, being rooted and grounded in the earth and practicing mindful breathing for 10 breaths. Now that the first cup is poured, it's nice to take a moment to bring our body and mind back together and to set an intention for this time of drinking tea. So Thai has given us many gatas for drinking tea. Today I'd like to share this beautiful one that Mai wrote and made this uh, beautiful gatha card out of. And uh, this will be posted right underneath this video so you can download it and enjoy it.
uh, when you have tea. So the words she composed, drinking this warm cup of tea, I feel the abundance of the water on my tongue, gift of smoothness and the flow of possibilities. I feel the afflictions in me begin to dissolve. So we practice mindful breathing as we're drinking tea. And also you'll notice the cup is very small. So resist the urge to drink it down all in one gulp. But see how little you can take and how much you can taste all at once. So breathing in, I reach for the cup. Breathing out, bring it up. Enjoy its fragrance. After I swallow the tea, I like to suck a little bit of air in over my tongue and palate, and it actually brings a second rush of fragrance. I get to taste the tea twice <laughs> for every time I swallow it. Try that. And you have to pay really close attention to what's going on inside, and you'll see the experience really comes to life. So I hope this helps to remind you that uh, even small ordinary moments like drinking tea can be a time for deep healing and meditation. Uh, if you would like to practice more simplicity and ease like this, check out the other videos on this page, Practicing in Place, and be sure that you learn about our upcoming online retreat, Homeward Bound, uh, where we're going to transform our homes into meditation halls and practice stopping, calming, and deep looking in every ordinary thing we do. Thanks for having some tea with me.